Hello and welcome to the Prize Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is going to be introducing Stagecoach Mary or Mary Fields, the toughest woman in the West. Mary was born into slavery around 1832 and died on the 5th of December 1914. Mary grew up on a plantation in Hickman County, Tennessee, as shown on this map in red. Her slave master was a judge called Edmund Francis Dunn, as seen in this photograph. In 1865, the 13th Amendment was passed by Abraham Lincoln. This meant that at the age of 33, Mary became a free woman. Once emancipated or freed, Mary went up to the Mississippi River where she worked on steamboats like the one pictured here. Mary ended up in Toledo, Ohio where she began working at the Ursuline Convent of the Sacred Heart. During her time at the convent, Mary, as well as washing laundry and managing the kitchen, also grew and maintained the grounds, as you can see in this image. Mary was known to lose her temper if anyone stepped on the grass after she had cut it. Mary left Toledo to take care of an old friend called Mother Amadeus Dunn, the daughter of Judge Dunn, who she used to work for on the plantation. Amadeus Dunn had fallen ill. Mary arrived in the West and got set to work at the St Peter's Mission where Amadeus Dunn had been working, performing maintenance and repair work. Mary was dismissed from the mission due to her crass behaviour, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars with men in saloons, and also her unruly temper. She carried a gun and had apparently got into a fight at the mission with a male janitor where they both drew their guns on each other. Mary moved to the neighbouring Cascade in Montana and was the first black woman to live there. In 1895, in her early 60s, Mary obtained a contract by the United States Post Office Department to be a star route carrier. This meant she was an independent contractor who used a stagecoach to deliver the mail. Mary was the first black American mail carrier. She built a reputation as being fearless while being a mail carrier. She was nicknamed Stagecoach Mary, protecting the mail from bandits, thieves, wolves and weather. As you can see from this image, she carried a rifle but was also known to carry a revolver on her deliverers. Mary spent eight years delivering mail until she retired. She remained famous in Cascades and became the mascot of the town's baseball team. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like and subscribe, or you can follow me at Twitter at LittleMissHistory81 at TanyaAlex38.